Question 13 is just same as the previous question. Yeah, the topic name is same, derivatives of exponential, logarithmic, and trigonometric functions. In the question 12, we mainly dealt with trigonometric functions. Now we are dealing with logarithmic and exponential functions. The derivative can always be solved in your calculator if you have got the four options. All you would need to do is type in the values. So for the first thing, you need to know the four options. Okay, let's take these as the options. Then what you do is, whatever is the question, press shift dy by dx and type it out the uh, given question. It'll be x cubed and shift last logarithm gives you e to the power x and x value will consider to be 1.5 and now write this answer at 1.5 it is 45.377 now always consider 1.5 so you don't need to write this just write the value that's enough and now check all the four options you need to just type it out will be its product rule to solve but we can directly get the answer multiplied with e to the power x and then add it okay so this is the answer or this is the answer any one will be given i'll show both will be the correct answer itself and over here it is cubed and we have multiplied with e to the power x since these are separate terms even if you don't put multiplying sign it will be considered as multiplication the x value is 1.5 and you can compare it is the same even you can try it over here, the next one, it'll be, this is the same, you know, this is simplification, x squared, e to the power x, and open the brackets, you should go down, now open the brackets, x plus 3, close the bracket, calculated at 1.5, the answer is 45.377. Let's try this one over here. First, shift dy by dx, solve the given question, x plus 2 to the power x. And now over here, x value is 1.5, and the value we got is 2.9605. Now, all you need to do is calculate this at the same x value. It's 1 plus 2 to the power x. Now, here you can see it's log 2. Please remember, you cannot use log 2 over here because in your calculator, you must always consider logarithm as natural log, ln itself. But when ln comes, I'll tell you one more thing. Now here, if you consider this, it's not going to give you the correct answer. It should be 2.96. If you take natural logarithm, now you get the answer. Just remember, if you have four options and then all the options as log in it, then just instead of writing log, take ln in your calculator. The calculator is set to understand all logarithmic functions as like this. So this is this, okay? And now, over here, because the formula, right? The Actually, the formula kind of varies if you are solving it. These both can be used as the formulas. But your calculator value will always consider ln as the formula for 2 to the power t. That's the reason behind it. But anyways, now let's look at this one. Here, it's the same thing. First, shift dy by dx, x to the power, x multiplied by 4 to the power 3 times x. And x is considered to be 1.5. And the answer over here is 3706. Now, this one over here, we'll take the simplified version because that is generally what will come in the exam. You should take it as x. Now, okay, over here, you can see it's ln only, so it's fine. 1 plus 3x ln 4. Close the bracket. And it's all closed. The answer is 3706. But if at all there was log, just take it as ln. And now these problems are pretty straightforward as well. There's no problem in these whatsoever. You can just put the values, check the answers. Again, over here, simple problems. Here, it is ln itself, no problem. I've tried most of the problems, they all work. For one type, I will come in a minute, for natural logarithm where secant is there, you need to change a little bit. Only those are different, all the others are just same. Let's solve this one. Shift dy by dx, what is it? 3 e to the power tan x. And now close the bracket and uh, it's already closed over here. It's 1.5 as x value. It is 0 0.0537. It's better you write it down or if you can remember in your mind, but in exam, don't go to do it. 
just write it down no matter what okay so it is 0 0.05378 now all you need to do is look into the four options and start solving them up here you have this option secant square so directly it is sorry not the fraction symbol 3 e to the power tan x close the bracket multiply it with now open the bracket 1 divided by secant is cosine 1 by cosine x now close the bracket over here and again close the main bracket and square it up calculate it at 1.5 it should match now it's not matching okay it's a good thing I did this. Okay, I'm not going to edit this. Why did I get the wrong answer? Till now, whenever we solve, we only had exponential and uh, logarithmic functions. We did not have trigonometry. But now look at my default mode. It's degrees. If I have degrees, I'll get wrong answer. This is the issue. Now let me change this. Shift mode and 4. Now when I use 1.5, this is the answer. Okay. So let me write it out over here, 79798435.0.1. It's a big one. Now here also, just use the same thing. As long as you have substituted everything correctly, I've done all correctly over here. So now shift dy by dx, sorry, over here. Now clear it and then shift dy by dx. Write this up, 3e to the power tan x, close the bracket, at 1.5. What is the answer? It's the same answer. But if it was in degrees mode, it won't work. Only in radian mode, it will work for trigonometric functions. So please keep that in mind. Now I'm getting the correct answer. But that time, that was an error. So whenever trigonometrics are there, please do this. Now these are again fine. You, you have no problem with these. I will just show you, for example, shift and divide by dx. Let's take both of these, second and third one, 77 and 78. So what you need to do is natural logarithm root of 8 alpha x at x of 1.5. Now here, what is the syntax error? So let me just check what is the problem. I have not closed the bracket. See over here, now it will be all right. Okay, it's 0 0.333, easy to remember. Now let me solve this up. Here also, sorry, use this. 1 divided by 2 to the power x where x is... 1.5 it is one thirds or 0 0.333 so that's the answer let's do the other one as well shift and dy by dx type it out natural logarithm of x cubed because we do not have t we use x as the variable for any variables 3x again close the bracket now write it as 1.5 and what is the answer 1.238 now the final answer over here, whichever is there, just do the same thing, but as it is, no dy by dx, directly the given answer. So 3 times x squared plus 1, close the bracket, and what do we have? x times x squared plus 3, close the bracket, calculate it at 1.5, the answer is 1.2380 and so on. Now, now we can see an important problem. Here we have natural logarithm and composed of a trigonometric function. It is very important to note this. Whenever you have ln and any trig, I'll write trig over here, trigonometric, you cannot use directly this in the calculator. I will show you what happens. But if you use log, p is e for trig, you will get the answer. For the calculator method, don't use ln when trigonometric functions are there when it's composed inside if it is multiplying with trigonometry then it's fine over here it doesn't matter but when you have ln inside a trig function we just use log base e because ln is equal to log base e the logarithm with the base e is natural logarithm isn't it so this is what we will do now we will do both the ways and check over here we will first do dy by dx ln cosine is shift and sorry shift no shift just cosine x that is alpha x close the bracket at x is 1.5 look i have opened two brackets and closed two brackets everything is all right but i still get syntax error the reason is the computation cannot happen now what i do is here i will just change this to log base e so let me clear it out and write it out instead of natural logarithm press 
this symbol here above uh, LAN. That's log base E. Now, but you need to put the base E. You can do it by shift over here like this and power 1 over here. This is fine, power 1. Or the better way is you can press alpha and into 10th power any number, 10th the power symbol. Can you see? That is also giving you E. But you should press alpha and that. There is E over here. And what is it equal? What is composed inside it? Alpha X co cosine. Close the brackets properly and now write the value 1.5 and you will get the answer. It is negative 14.101. Remember that it's better to write it out. In your exam, please always write it out. Now what I do is I have to check all the four options. Let's look into the answer. Here the answer is very simple. Negative tan X. Calculated at 1.5, the answer must match and it is matching. Same thing over here. But over here, look, is it composed inside with a trigonometric function? No, there is no trig value inside or over here. So directly you can do this. See, it's cosine x. Now first, it's dy by dx. Shift and this symbol. Now you have to press cosine x. Natural logarithm. x squared plus 1. Close the bracket. And what is this? x value we consider it to be 1.5. And you will get the answer, negative 1.11. You can write it out. And now we will solve this as well. Use the fraction symbol. 2x times cosine x. Close the bracket. Over here it is x squared plus 1. And over here it is minus sine x multiplied with natural logarithm x squared plus 1. And close the bracket here, the answer calculated at 1.5 and it is the same value. So if you change over here, calculate at 2, it varies. But then you have to derive this also at 2. But we'll calculate it at 1.5 because we did this. It was minus 1.11. That's the correct answer. So this is how you solve all these problems in the calculator directly. Now please do these by yourselves as straightforward as well even these nothing much over here here as well the calculator method will work for all the problems even over here anyway this is secant right i'll do this even i'll do this one okay that is cube root remember the calculator must be in radian mode if it's not press shift mode and then four it's in radian now press shift and dy by dx write it out you cannot write ln why because there is trigonometry use log base e that is alpha e and over here we have secant secant is basically one by uh, cosine that is alpha x close the bracket and then what do we have plus tan x close the bracket and at what value x is 1.5 the answer is 14.13, 14.13. It's easy to remember. I'm not going to write it, but you need to write it in the exam somewhere and then solve the others. That's all the options now. Now let's solve this. It is secant. Now here, write it all together. Now first part is secant, right? I'll use another fraction because secant is 1 by cosine x. Okay, that's done. Multiplied with what? Tan. Tan is direct. X. That is done. We have plus. Again, what is it? Secant. That is 1 by secant is uh, cosine. X. And that is squared up. Whole squared. Divided by. Okay, I just realized the answer is secant. D. Let's do both. Anyways, this also might be your answer. Sometimes you never know. So, over here again, 1 divided by cosine X. Close the bracket. Plus tan X. Close the bracket. Calculated at what? 1.5. The answer will match. It was 14.13. Even over here, we get the same. You can just try secant t also. That is 1 by cosine x. Just this value. What should happen at 1.5? It's 14.13. So because they're all equal, right? They must give you the same answer. Let's do this one as well. All you need to do is shift dy by dx. Use this symbol. Either shift and this square root or we will use this one over here, shift and x to the power symbol. You can put any value of the radical. It's 3. Over here we have e to the power 2x plus, go next and plus x squared, sorry, not cube. 
And what do you want to take x value as? We generally take it 1.5 and the answer is 1.9. Just remember that 1.908. Now we need to solve this in the calculator directly and substitute the value of x. So here you just write 1 by 3 multiply by opening bracket e to the power 2x that's alpha x and then we have plus x squared sorry it's cubed close the bracket to the power minus 2 thirds 2 by 3 and then what we do is multiply it with 2 multiplied by e to the power 2x and plus 3 you know again x squared alpha x to the power 2 and close the bracket calculate it at 1.5 the answer is 1.908 that was the same answer we got so all the problems it will work this is the shortcut method and that is the end of the question 13.